So you've got a camera, you're advertising some shoots, you know there's people out there with money, they're just not giving it to you, and that makes you sad. My name is Nick Hilton, and in this video, we are talking about why no one is paying you for your photography. The first one, this is a doozy. You have no clear brand. Look, you can't just hop on Canva, build a pricing PDF, slap a logo on it, and call yourself a brand. Your brand is made up of your photographic style and your portfolio, your verbal, your messaging, your visuals like your logo and how things are displayed, and then finally, your experience. What do you bring to the table for your clients? What kind of experience are you giving them? When you don't have a defined brand or those components of your brand are misaligned, then it's gonna cause a misunderstanding from potential clients. You have no ability to target a specific market. You don't have a perceived professionalism, consistency, or reliability. There's no trust from a potential client and there's no emotional connection. On the contrary, when you do have a defined brand and all of those components are aligned, then it gives you the ability to target a specific market. It also gives you the ability to create an identity for yourself. And now you build trust because you're perceived as professional, consistent, and reliable. And a bonus, you can use that defined brand to guide business decisions. If you're thinking whether or not you should post something on Instagram, look at your brand. Would your brand post that? Is that on brand? That's just one example. So let's compare two different brands. If you look at my Instagram feed, look how it's pretty dark, dramatic, colorful, post a lot of dance floor stuff. And then if we compare that to a photographer like Christy Telnoff, who is an amazing editorial photographer, you can see that hers is clearly different. We are not targeting the same client whatsoever. And that's fine, but we know that. I could not be trying to reach her clients with, with my work and my messaging. And so that brings us to the second thing is that you're trying to target the wrong market. If your work, your brand, your marketing, if it's not reaching the right people, no one is ever gonna book you. Like, have you ever been shopping around a store with a friend and you check the tag on something and you're like, wow, that's way too expensive. I would never pay this amount of money for that. Well, some people would. So if you wouldn't, you're probably not that company's ideal market or customer. You need to ask yourself, who is my client? This ideal client, do they have the money to pay for my services? And also, do they see the value in my service? Oftentimes, this means you need to step outside of your circle. Most of the time, your social circle is not where your client is. I'm friends with a lot of athletes, a lot of people who like to go really hard, have big parties, and that would be an amazing client for me to photograph. But that market generally doesn't have the money to pay for my services. This brings me to like a side note. I see a lot of people offering free shoots and they can't even book that. It's because no one sees any value in that. If you throw your mattress out on the curb and put a free sign on it, most people, they're not gonna come get it. Something's probably wrong with it, it's free. If you don't see the value in it, why would somebody else? All right, third one, I hope it's not this one, but your work could just not be good enough yet. I see a lot of people asking in Facebook groups why no one is paying them and their work's not good. You need to have a certain quality of work for someone to want to pay for it. Moving on, number four is that you might possibly be doing the wrong genre of photography to make much money. It's no secret that certain genres of photography are easier to make money in than others. Maybe not easy, but there's more money there. For example, wedding photography might be saturated. There might be a lot of competition, but there's a lot of potential clients who are willing to pay for your service. On the other hand, as an action sports photographer, there's not a lot of competition. It's not a very saturated market. However, the number of people willing to pay for that service is a lot lower. A couple of genres of photography that I see a lot of people start and complain on the internet that no one is paying them is car photography and like model slash portfolio photography. Oh, my gear costs this much money. Oh, it's this my time, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares how much your gear costs. Nobody cares how long you've been shooting. Nobody cares how cool your photos are. If you want to do automotive photography, your client is not car owners. It's not 19 year olds 
with souped up Honda Civics. Your client is big companies. It's Mercedes, it's BMW. If you wanna do automotive photography, you have to go commercial. It's the same with models. A 19 year old who wants to be an Instagram model is not gonna pay you for photos. You have to connect with agencies and big companies and turn it more into a commercial thing. Building off of complaining, let's get into number five, which is presenting yourself wrong. If you've got a photography brand that you are now tied to, you can't go on Facebook and advertise your Christmas minis, and then the next day go on that same Facebook account and make a status update telling your uncle to off. You are now attached to that brand, and everything that you do and say on the internet is connected to that brand, and it will affect the reputation and the perceived professionalism of that brand. All right, reason number six why no one is paying you for photography ties all of the rest of this video together, and it's that you just don't have any perceived value. When someone gives you money, they want something in return. They want value for their money. So you need to figure out what value does your brand, your photography, bring to the table? And is your brand reaching the right people that would see the value in your brand? And do they have the money to pay for that brand? Because remember, the wrong audience will never see the value in what you provide. All right, I hope this video has got you thinking about potentially why people aren't paying you for photography. I know it's got me thinking about ways that I can improve my brand, my perceived value. And so I just want you to you know, sit down and ask yourself, do I do good work? Do I present myself well? Am I in a profitable genre? Do I have a target market? Does my brand align in a way that resonates with that target client? And am I able to communicate the value effectively to my ideal client? Click subscribe and I hope you take this information and do some serious uh, work on your business. All right, we'll see you in the next video.